Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to our channel. So today's video I'm really excited about because you guys are always asking me what I eat in a day from start to finish. So I'm literally going to show you every single thing I eat or drink today. I don't know if I've shared it on here yet, but I do have a fitness page on Instagram called Getting Fit with Brent. I'll post workouts, food, anything health fitness related, I'll post on there. So if you guys follow me on there, then you already know kind of what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. But I figured for all my YouTube viewers that might not be following that page and wants to get some ideas or some more insight into what I am eating, I will say this, I am not the cleanest eater ever. I still, for the most part, eat what I want, but I have made better decisions or better alternatives if that makes sense and I definitely don't eat out as often as I do but I do try to eat more veggies more protein I still have my carbs I just try to limit my refined carbs and I still have my sweet tooth but I've learned to kind of find different alternatives and to pick healthier options and minimize that a little bit. Just a little bit, you know I love my sweets. I actually just got a few things from Publix and I'm about to show you guys here in a second, but I have not had breakfast yet. It is 10 o'clock and that's usually how it goes. It's like really busy morning, getting the kids ready, getting the kids off to school. I get myself ready really quick and then I'll usually have breakfast. You guys know I've fasted in the past and I still fast every now and then. So my body's kind of like on this eternal clock and usually I'm starving by 10 a.m. because I stopped eating past 10 p.m. So anyway. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm preparing for breakfast. I did already have my coffee, which I'm almost done with it. So every single morning, the first thing I will get or drink is coffee. I'll go in here, get my Nespresso pod. Let me actually show you guys because I get a lot of questions about these two. Our favorite pod, if it will focus, is the Stormio. It's not a really, really dark, strong blend, but it's almost there and I love it. It's definitely my favorite. And then I'll just add a splash of this almond milk creamer. This is my favorite creamer. I've tried so many different ones, but this one is hands down my favorite from Califia Farms. I think I'm saying that right. And I get the unsweetened, so it has zero grams of sugar. You guys can see all the nutrition facts on the back. So I'll just add a splash of that. For breakfast, I am going to have some granola with banana and I'm gonna use up the rest of these blueberries that I have and I'll so my almond milk, I forgot to grab that. So I did get some of the almond milk from this brand as well, but right now I'm trying, we have some silk in there, but right now I'm trying to use up the rest of my almond milk from Trader Joe's. This is the unsweetened original. You guys, I can't even tell the difference anymore between this and regular milk. Actually, I prefer almond milk now over milk. It's just, it's a totally different taste. Like I've gotten so used to just drinking this. I think I only have a little bit left of this granola. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and eat the rest of that. Add my banana and blueberries and then my almond milk over it. I didn't even get to talk to you guys about the granola that I'm having. This is also from Trader Joe's. It's their pumpkin flax granola it has flax seeds pumpkin seeds and then a little bit of cinnamon to work out and I got my favorite energy drink by Alani New. I'm really liking the breezeberry flavor. I like the watermelon one too, um, but I'm putting it in. This is actually meant for White Claws, but I don't use it anymore for White Claws. So I decided to use it for my energy drinks because they're the perfect size and it keeps it cool, especially in the garage where it gets really hot. Sometimes I'll do the powdered pre-workout, but a lot of the times I just grab an energy drink. Right, so I just got done working out. Today was arm day, trying to build these biceps and triceps. So usually after a workout, I'll have some kind of protein, either the protein bar, which is what I'm gonna have today. You guys know I love my Built Bar, or I'll have a protein shake. Thank you so much to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. I love and favor eating these over anything. I've talked about these so many times now on this channel, but they are a personal favorite of mine. Actually, I just ordered two more boxes of the variety pack, so I'm waiting to get those in the mail. This is my last one, which I'm kind of sad until those come in. I'll admit it right now, but I also use my own code to get a discount on them. But the reason why I love these so much is because it tastes like I'm eating a candy bar. Like right after a workout, you're tired, you're sweating, you're like, okay, I need the protein now. And to be eating something that tastes like a candy bar is amazing. But I also have these as a late night snack sometimes too. But for example, this bar, just this bar has 17 grams of protein, 130 calories, and only four grams 
four grams of sugar. So zero guilt whenever I have one of these. So Frank is actually not a protein bar person. He actually is not even a protein shake kind of person. But I told him if you're gonna be working out, you need to be having the protein, which he'll he'll eat a whole bunch of protein throughout the day. But to get that extra protein, I'm like, okay, why don't you try my built bars? And he actually really likes the puff ones. He loves those so much, like the churro one. So good. This one is raspberry, so it tastes like I'm almost eating like a chocolate raspberry truffle in a way. They're actually made with 100% real chocolate. They're gluten-free, have natural flavoring, and there's no preservatives. So I feel like this is the perfect, in my opinion, I'm a little biased because I do love them and this is the only protein bar that I eat now. Um, but I personally, out of all the ones I've tried, Built Bar is definitely my favorite. It's the only protein bar I will eat now after my workouts or like I said, if I want a late night snack or a snack or pick me up during the day, these are perfect and they have so many yummy flavors like cookies and cream, the mint chocolate one is really good, um, the salted caramel one. If you guys are interested in checking out Built Bar, I will be leaving a link in the description and also our code MOROS10. That way you guys can save a little bit of money while getting some protein bars and leave in the comments down below what is your favorite flavor if you guys have tried these or which ones are you excited to try. So after a workout, I'll go ahead and drink my creatine as well. This just helps with recovery and Frank says retaining water yeah, after a retain, workout. It retains a little bit more water so you don't lose all that fluid. So it helps you after your workout. Yes. So if I have a protein shake after my workout, I'll add a scoop of this to the protein shake. If I don't, I'll just mix it with some water and just drink it just by itself. I just chug it down. But regardless, anytime after a workout, I will take my creatine. And don't judge me, I am using a whiskey glass to drink this out of. That's because it's only like small, semi-small glass that we have that is perfect for it. So I'll just add a little bit of water. I have one of the kids' straws, so random, but this is like the best way that I'll drink it. Guys, really quick, what I got from Publix before I take my vitamins, kind of let my food settle, because I don't know about you guys, if I take them on an empty stomach or right after I eat, I feel really sick and nauseous. So I have to kind of like wait a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys what I got because a lot of the stuff is going to be what I'm having for lunch and dinner. So I'm gonna show you guys my lunch today. It's called a Mediterranean quinoa bowl. It is so good. I saw another influencer on Instagram. Her name's Lauren Self. Go check her out. She also gives me a lot of fitness and food inspiration, but she's the one that posted about it and ever since then when I tried it I got addicted I have had it every single week that's how I am I will eat something until I am so tired of eating it and I'm not tired of eating it yet so you'll need some cherry tomatoes for that the Brussels sprouts are for dinner you're also gonna need some cucumbers for the quinoa bowl and also some orange bell peppers and a red onion I'm making lemon pepper chicken in the air fryer so you'll need some fresh lemons for that I got a few things for the kids so they have been loving these yogurt pouches instead of the squeezies now and it's perfect to just throw in their lunch or for like a quick snack and instead of the stony field uh yogurt drinks they have been liking these chobani yogurt drinks and i like them and they also fill them up more because the stony field ones are so tiny this one has so much yogurt in it so we got some banana strawberry and also some berry ones and then I got a couple peach ones. For the quinoa bowl, you'll also need some feta cheese. I love using the tomato and basil ones. Now, depending on which quinoa you like, you can either get regular quinoa or you can get tri-color quinoa. I prefer this one over just regular plain quinoa, but totally your preference. But today I'm gonna make it with the tri-color. I think I put this in my cart because I couldn't find it and then I just never took it out when I did find it. And then this is also going to be dinner, some pearled couscous mix. And then the other thing that you'll need for the quinoa bowl, besides the dressing, I'll show you guys how to make that, is some garbanzo beans or chickpeas. And then I stocked up some more on this true fruit. Guys, I have been addicted to these. These are so good. Obviously it's not the healthiest, but it is a better alternative to brownies or cookies and things that I would be eating before. So sometimes I'll just put a few in a bowl and it'll be like my little sweet treat or late night snack. And the raspberry ones are my favorite. Try those. Yeah, I promise you guys, these are so good. They have white and dark chocolate on them and then it has 90 calories per serving. And then last but not least, some boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins. This is gonna be for dinner tonight. And then I also did get these for my grandma and mom for Mother's Day. I'm putting a little gift together. So that is everything that I got from Publix. I'm gonna put this up and then I'm gonna show you guys my vitamins. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna take my vitamins. So I have my care of pack right here. This is not sponsored, you guys. I felt like I was missing some things that I 
I was needing like different vitamins and supplements and when I took the quiz this is what they recommended so I'm taking carotene for my hair health I was taking a hair blocker but I am no longer now since I have that to replace it I have my vitamin D calcium plus a vegan collagen for my joint health because I have really bad joints and then for my gut health I'm taking a probiotic and then I don't know how to pronounce this but it's for stress and mood and I'm telling you guys since I've started to take this I have noticed a huge difference I used to take something else I can't remember what it was called since I've started to take this I feel so much better and I've been able to manage my stress better too. On top of that, I'm also taking omega-3 zinc for my immunity health, CLA, this is for working out, and then also biotin for my hair, skin, and nails. So I have all four of these in a little separate container and then I take these as well. So I take a lot of vitamins, you guys, but I'm telling you, it matters, it definitely matters. So if you're ever curious, if you don't ever know where to start, I would definitely recommend checking out Care Of, doing their health quiz and it will tell you so much. I also wanted to say, I drink a ton, a ton of water in a day. I will drink one huge jug of these, 95 ounces of almost water. Almost a gallon of water. Almost a gallon of water every single day. They say you're supposed to drink half of your body weight. There's some kind of calculation. I'll put it on the screen, but that's like the recommended amount. I just love drinking water. I've always been a drink. I've always been a water drinker. You've always been a drinker? I've always been a drinker. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> and also with working out too and sweating a lot, it's good to replenish and hydrate your body. So I started this earlier today because I knew I was going to have this for lunch and it's just been sitting on the stove top and I was also waiting for it to cool down. But I just cooked it according to the directions, which was one cup of quinoa and two cups of water. So I've put that in a bowl over here and I've prepped the rest of my stuff that's going to go on top of it, so we have our chickpeas, cucumbers, tomatoes, bell pepper, and I'll kind of go ahead and chop up a lot. That way I can store it in the fridge and prepare it another time whenever I make it. And I also realized that I still had some of this feta cheese from Trader Joe's left, so I'm actually gonna use that up. The only thing I have not made yet is, oops, I need to go in there. I haven't made the dressing yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I usually do half of one fourth. Is that one eighth? I'm not good with fractions. <laughs> or measurements but i'll do half of that of the olive oil and then i'll do three tablespoons of the red wine vinegar and then a teaspoon of oregano and then some of the minced garlic i honestly don't use like exact measurements i kind of just like wing it and mix it all together but this is going to go all over your quinoa and your veggies and i forgot to show you guys i also cut up some onion as well some dinner going on right now. I'm actually about to put these Brussels sprouts into the oven. The only thing that is on these are olive oil, salt and pepper, and some minced garlic. So I'm gonna put that in there, set this for 20 minutes. And then I have my chicken marinating over here. I'll leave the exact ingredients for the marinade in all the directions down below in the description, but you will need some smoked paprika, dried oregano, olive oil, minced garlic, salt and pepper. Oh, and lemon juice. So I have this marinating for a little bit. And then I also have the couscous going over here. Since it's in the box, I'm just following the directions. So we're adding the chicken now to the air fryer and we're going to let it cook for six to eight minutes. Let's just say seven minutes. A good medium. A good medium, yeah. All right guys, so dinner is done. We got our roasted Brussels sprouts, almost burnt them, <laughs> and our pearled couscous. Frank and I tried the chicken. We really, really liked it. What did oh, you think? It's really good. I don't know what it is about the lemon that was marinated with it, 
but it tastes so good. Definitely puts a little bit of a twist on lemon pepper chicken. All right guys, so this is probably gonna be the last thing that I show you guys. Well, it's also gonna be the last thing that I'm eating for this what I eat in a day video. I have a bowl full of the true fruit. These are the raspberry ones and hands down my favorite. So before I go to bed, I'm going to eat some of these, watch a little bit of my show and then go to bed. But I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.